Good day, Turbo fans and retro game enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of Turbo Tuesday. Before consoles were a common thing, there were the arcades. Dark rooms filled with tall cabinets, colorfully and noisily advertising their wares. Even during the home console 8 and 16-bit era, the arcade was still a popular destination. The home console fought to bring the arcade experience into the living room. While consoles of this era tried, they didn't have the power to bring a good arcade experience home. This is where NEC, the creator of the TurboGrafx and PC Engine, shone. They were able to capture a true quality home arcade experience. We have seen this in some of our past episodes, specifically with the Sega arcade ports. This week, we bring to you one of our all-time favorite arcade-to-home ports for the PC Engine and TurboGrafx. Forgotten Worlds. Forgotten Worlds is a classic arcade created by Capcom. It was ported by NEC Avenue to the small PC Engine and TurboGrafx system. The Japanese version even came packaged with a special three-button controller, the Avenue Pad 3. This was specifically built for this game. Forgotten Worlds is a side-scrolling and vertical-scrolling shooter. Each level is preceded by an animated cutscene. The level ends with a large, full-screen boss and an additional cutscene. One unique element of this game is that the name of the boss is given at the end of the game's cutscene. Defeat enemies to collect Zenny, the currency of the game. Use Zenny in shops to purchase weapon and health upgrades. You can also purchase news in the shops. The news will give you a hint on how to defeat the level boss. Forgotten Worlds was released on Super CD-ROM and takes full advantage of this format. The audio is excellent, closely replicating the original arcade. The sprites and color are a fantastic sight. Level bosses are large and colorful. They fill the screen. This game is a must for your library. Watch the video for some gameplay through the first three levels. Watch us defeat Paramecium and the Dust Dragon in this episode. Enjoy and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you. The Dust Dragon is no match for us. It didn't take much to get rid of him.
Did the war god really die? No doubt about it. The king of gods must be saying his prayers now.